Hello, this is a promotional video to give you an insight into the life of a student at our university, the Medical University Fleming. Good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I would like to use the computer to talk to my family. I just got over my classes. So is there any computer free? Yes, yes. Just fill in this form here and you're ready to go. Okay, thank you. Okay, here it is. Thank you. That way, please. Hi Naro. Hi Sir, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good, good. Just got over to my classes, so I thought I can meet my parents. Oh, that's good. Say my hello to them. Yeah, sure. Hello mom, how are you? I'm fine here. Got over with my classes early, so I thought I would chat with you. Yes, yes, classes are going fine. Nothing to worry about. How is everything in Canada? Yesterday was just a busy mom. I was in the changing room when I got a cut from an old lady. So I went to the emergency department to get a tetanus shot. As I am a medical student of the university, I am allowed a free tetanus shot. Excuse me doctor, I've got a cut on my finger and I'm a medical student and I think I need a tetanus injection. When did you get cut? This morning. Okay, why don't you take a seat? I'll just get your injection in the name. Oh, okay. While I was waiting for the injection, I suddenly heard siren of the ambulance. who had fallen in his house and injured himself. Since I was in the emergency department only, I was lucky to witness the whole process of his assessment by the doctors. Hello, what's the problem? Well, doctor, I slipped and I hurt my knee while I was taking a shower this morning. Okay, how long ago was this? An hour or two. Okay, can you bend the knee for me? It's painful. Okay. Can you bend your ankle? I can't feel my ankle. At all? Can you feel what I'm doing right now? Little bit. Okay. Can you feel this? I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm going to get an x-ray done. Possibly there might be some sort of uh, fracture. But otherwise, do you have any other complaints? Do you have no. any family history of disease? No. Are you hypertensive? No. Do you have any diabetes or sugar problem? No. Okay, no other pain anywhere else right now? No. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay. How old are you? I'm 30. Okay, let me just take your blood pressure and then I'll send you for an x ray. And I'll get you something for your pain. That would be really nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank
Your blood pressure is perfectly fine, now good. And let me just listen to your heart and then send it. So you have nothing to worry about. So anything else that you want to say? Uh, actually yes. I almost forgot. I have been having mild discomfort over this area. For how long? How sharp? Uh, from the moment I fell this morning. Okay. Is it a pain or what sort of discomfort? Can Is it hurting right now? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you have any problem with your heart? Not Because really. nothing seems to be the problem. Okay. Any uh, gas? Yeah. Actually I have a history of gastric ulcer. Oh, for how long? Two years. Okay, and have you been taking any medication for this? Not for past two days. Oh, okay. So I'll just page gastro immediately to check you up, and I'll get you something for your medication. Thank you. After that, the emergency intern left, and the gastroenterologist then came to check on the patient. Hello. Hello. I'm your gastroenterologist. It's mentioned here that you've had a history of gastric ulcers. Since yes. when were you diagnosed with it? Two years ago. Okay. Besides the pain, do you have any other uh, complaints like acidity? No. Any heartburn? No. Mm, you vomited recently? No. Any diarrhea? No. Okay. You scheduled for an x-ray for your leg, right? Yes. Mm, I'll put it contrast x-ray for your stomach as well mm -hmm. and I'll be sending a nurse to get you for the x-rays okay? okay have a nice day thank you doctor just I was leaving the room I overheard the nurses talking about an appendicitis case so inquisitive as I ever followed another doctor to see what was happening hi so what's the problem I have a pain. Uh, pain started in this area mm -hmm. before two hours. Mm -hmm. but now I have very severe pain over here. All right. What did you eat? Nothing. Nothing. Are you on any meds? No. Nothing. Let me see your abdomen. So you say the pain started here. Yes. And now the pain is exactly here. Yes. That's right. All right. So I'm going to examine you. I'm just going to do some palpations. You're going to tell me where it pains the most. Okay. All right. Okay. Here. No. No. Here. No. Here. Yes. Here. Here. No. No. Here. No. No. Here. Yes. Yes. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. The pain is more like this yes. or like this. When I press or when I leave? No, also. You have pain. Like this? Yes, yes, yes. You have a pain. Alright. Have you been operated before? No. No. Alright. So. Just a second, I'll be back with your blood picture. Alright, it says that uh, you have temperature mm -hmm. and you have leukocytosis okay. and this pain. So, according to me, it's uh, I suspect appendicitis. Okay. Alright, so you'll have to go to a surgical ward right now because there's no other cure for it. Okay. Understand? Alright, so let's meet you upstairs. See. Very interesting to see it all happen in front of me. Then it was then I heard a nurse call out my name, calling me for my tetanus injection. Amidst all of this excitement, I totally forgotten that I had actually come here for my injection. Sorry for the delay. Huh? I've already sent your blood samples upstairs. I'll just give you a shot right now, and you go and collect your reports. It'll hurt a little bit, yeah. Alright, you're ready. So, 
as instructed by the intern, I went up to the sixth floor to collect my reports. I was waiting for the reports. Before taking the appendicitis patients to the surgical theater for surgery, so I helped them wheel in the patient. What a day mom, it was just too good, I felt like a doctor and involved in the case while I was only a spectator, I felt awesome and today when I was coming up to the library, I ran into the reporters who here was to do some report on our new surgical robotics block. So this is the new robotics block that you have built? Yes, this is the new state of the art block. Please come in, I'll show you this one. Hello ma'am. Hello. This is our vice dean of a medical university. Hello ma'am. Actually I'm a reporter and I'm here to collect a piece of report about the new robotics department. Can you tell me a little bit about this department? Yes, uh, welcome to our uh, unique center for telemedicine and for endoscopic surgery. We are very happy to have this uh, unique equipment for distance surgery and we are very happy to train young physicians from the Europe and the world at this department. Could you please come with me? I will show you the department. Hmm, guess what mom, tomorrow I'll be going to observe my first surgery. We are allowed into the surgical theater with our assistants and then he explains us the whole process of, of performing it. I'm really looking forward for it. Of course, I will be careful mom. Okay, now I have to go. I have to go for sports in 10 minutes. So I'll speak to you tomorrow and fill in you the yet another interesting day. Goodbye mom. Yeah, take care. See you. We are not sending this video for the Oscars yet. And we are not hoping to win any prizes for it. But we hope we've impressed you and I hope you consider our new See you in Clement. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.